Are you a beginner in data engineering or have just started exploring it? Then you should definitely know these 10 frequently used terminologies in data engineering or the entire big data ecosystem. Because when you will start working on your first real world data engineering project, then you will also start using these terminologies on your day to day job activities. So these are the must know terminologies for everyone who is starting with data engineering. First component is data sources. So this component includes various data sources which feeds our data pipeline such as databases, APIs and different file systems. Second is data ingestion. This component is responsible for extracting and importing data from different data sources into the data pipeline. Third is data cleansing. This component is actually responsible for cleaning, transforming and normalizing the data. Also removing the inconsistencies and errors from the raw data. Fourth one is the data storage. So this component is responsible for storing the clean and transform the data into suitable formats such as the data lake and the data warehouses. Fifth one is the data processing. This component is responsible for processing and aggregating the data, applying the algorithms and models, generating the insights and output from the process data. Sixth one is data lake. So it is a central repository where we keep the structured, semi-structured and unstructured data in its raw form. For example, any persistent file storage system like Amazon S3, Azure Blob or HDFS. Seventh one is the data warehouse. So this is also a kind of centralized system where we actually store the transformed data which will have some sort of structure or you can say schema applied. For example, AWS Redshift, Snowflake, Apache Hive and many other data warehousing services. Eighth one is the data modeling. So this is the process of defining the overall structure of our process the data like how it will get stored in the downstream system how tables will get connected with each other what will be the relationship and how that can be consumed by the end users and all those access patterns ninth is data visualization so this component is responsible for the representation of our process data in the visual formats like different kind of charts, graph and amazing dashboards. And the number 10th is the data governance and management. So this component is actually responsible for managing and monitoring the data pipeline, ensuring the data is smoothly flowing in the entire system, process of defining different roles, policies, standards and matrices that ensures the effective and efficient use of information in enabling and organization to achieve its goals. So these were the top 10 frequently used terminologies in the data engineering and big data. I hope now if you are a beginner then you have noted down all these terms which I was talking about and honestly speaking this is really really useful and if you have something to share and you want to add on something into these terminologies feel free to put it in the comment section. Also let me know in the comment section how many terminologies among these you already knew. At the end, if you find this video informative, then make sure to hit the like button to pass this information to all other aspiring data engineers. Also, if you are new to the channel and want to get the notification for all such amazing videos, then smash the subscribe button, press the notification icon. I will see you guys in the next week with something really cool in the data engineering. Till then, just keep exploring data.